Don't restrict your creativity if you don't have Adobe Illustrator or these other fancy softwares. Canva allows us to create amazing looking designs if we are applying our minds and we are being creative. Join me as we use our shapes in Canva to create this amazing O-shaped logo. From your Canva homepage, create a blank canvas. And we're going to be doing this in three steps. So the first step after you've created your canvas, you're going to go to your elements, access your lines and shape and click see all. Scroll down until you find your arch up or arch down, one of the two. You click on it and it, and it lands on your canvas. Then you rotate it and you size it and you change the color. You make the color that you want to go with. I'm going to go with blue on this one. Then you duplicate the shape and the other one you make white. Then you layer it on top of the other arch up. Just size it a little bit so that it creates that nice C. Once you've created your C shape, you're going to go and download it and as a transparent background. And then you're going to delete the shape that you've added on there and then add the image that you've just downloaded. And once it's uploaded, you're going to edit the image to remove the white. So we're going to go, we're going to remove the background so that it takes away the white. If you're not on Canva Pro, you can try it for 30 days using my link below, or you could use remove.bg. Once it has taken it off, you click on apply and then it applies. Then you're going to crop out the extra space. You click on done and then you are ready to start layering your C as an O. We're done with step number one. With step number two, you're going to start layering your C so that it creates an O. I want to quickly show you that without this little hack of mine that I have found, it, without this little hack, it went really haywire. Like you see now on the video, it was going all over the place. And then I thought, okay, what's the best way to layer that? That took me back to shape. So you're going to go back to your elements and you're going to look for the round big shape, the O. So you're going to click on see all and you're going to scroll down until you find this nice big round O. It's called a thick solid round border. So you click on it once and you layer it on your canvas and then it is going to guide you to then add your C's on top of the O with patience and precision you're gonna start layering your C's so that it goes all across and it creates an O. That's the cool thing with design. You're able to come up with clever ideas that you can use with your creation. So it doesn't necessarily have to be just an O. It could be any letter that you want to create. I'm giving you ideas. That's my job. And then you start rotating and you layer them all the way through up until you see your O shaped in the exact same way that you want. I'm going to fast forward this, then you can see the end result. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off When we get to almost at the end of our layering We can clearly see that the design has created a 3D effect already so if you like this kind of design, you can finish off the layering and download it as a 3D with this kind of a look. Or you could, if you like, you could, like I did, I'm going to show you, you're going to take off the big round O shape and then you're going to convert it to a 3D on 4OP. So it's up to you. This is the kind of 3D that you can create using only Canva.
There you go, the design is finally done. You're going to press T for text and you're going to add the business name and the tagline and then you're going to download it as a transparent background and then jump to www.photop.com to go and convert it as a 3D. From photop.com, you're going to click and access the templates that are there. You can use your own PSD templates by using open from computer, but we're gonna use PSD templates. You're then going to select mockups so that you get to view the mockups that are loaded. We're gonna click on the white paper logo mockup, so you double click on there to open the mockup itself. And you click where it says photopeat.com and it loads. Once it has loaded, you're going to double click where it says your logo here on the checkout space and you're going to click on the eye to hide the text on the canvas itself. Then you're gonna go find your 2D logo that you've just downloaded from Canva. You're gonna go file, open and place, or you can drag it if it's lying at the bottom of the page. So you're gonna go find it where you saved it and you open it and you load it. You would size it and align it. And you're gonna go file, save a smart object. If you don't see save a smart object, you've skipped a step. And then it's saved. You're gonna click once where it says white paper logo and you wait and your design is finally converted. To export it, you're gonna go file, export as a PNG or whichever format that you want. And then you click on save and then it's exported. We have created a course just for logo designers on Canva. So if you go to learnwithzart.com, the link is in my description below and you scroll down, you're going to find this Canva for logo designers course that we've created. And when you click on buy now, we're covering the basics of Canva. We're covering amazing logos that we've never shared on YouTube. We're also teaching you exactly what to do when it comes to 3D logos and photo P and there's even an ebook just for you. So go to learnwithzart.com and purchase the course. I will see you on the next video.